Could you imagine the traffic in our valley without the 215 Beltway? It wasn't that many years ago when the 53-mile stretch of roadway didn't even exist. The Beltway provides gridlock relief and highway travel around three-quarters of the Las Vegas Valley and was planned and constructed by Clark County in the 1990s, with the first section opening in 1996. Clark County's explosive growth was the engine for the much-needed Beltway. An innovative, proactive approach delivered the I-215 project. For the first time ever, a county built an interstate without using federal or state funding. In the next two decades, work continued, providing jobs to tens of thousands of Beltway builders. A deliberate blueprint yielded almost yearly construction completions as individual Beltway segments, overpasses, flood control systems, ramps, arterials, and much more opened on time and under budget. By 2003, the Beltway footprint was complete, providing a limited access expressway from Railroad Pass near Boulder City to north of the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. You can stand here today and go non-stop stop all the way out to Henderson and come back just for the heck of it. In 2004, the Board of County Commissioners rechristened the road, calling it the Bruce Woodbury Beltway to honor a man unofficially known as Mr. Transportation in Clark County. You know, if you're going to be in public service, you have to do it because you want to make the community better than, than it might otherwise have been. The Beltway has become a shining example of efficiency in the public works world and has won many awards, including a prestigious Top 10 Road Project Award by Roads and Bridges magazine. The final pieces of Beltway construction continue with airport interchange additions near McCarran and the elimination of a few signalized intersections on the northern segment. And it's quite possible that I-215 will adjoin the country's newest interstate as I-11 gets built and will link together Nevada and Arizona. It's impossible to overstate the Beltway's impact on our overall master transportation plan in southern Nevada.